Okay, March 16, 2021. Uh, this is class number nine. And wait, sorry, this is class number 10, our second week on Tuesday. And uh, this is intermediate three from eight to nine. So uh, March 16th, just waiting for students. Hey, hey, Marce, how are you? Hello. How was your day, Marce? I'm very good. Tell me, what did you do today? What about you? Fine. And what did you do today? Well, I, I don't, I didn't make something special. Okay, I didn't do, I didn't do anything special. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you stay at home? Did you go out? I have stayed at home, in my home, yes. Okay. Okay. Do you have kids, Marce? It's, it sounds like there are children there. Yes, my brother. My little brother. Ah. He, mm -hmm. he, is, he is seven years old. And in my coffee, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he is pictures of the uh, this mom and they they are playing so uh, how is nosy always. Yeah, that's why I hear it it sounds like children. So that's that's why I was curious. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. But that's good, right? That's it's nice to have kids and you hear them laughing and keeping up all of the, the things that will make them happy and things like that. Yeah, that's right. We we play. We sometimes play uh, football or uh, I don't know which car sometimes I am the the teacher or the doctor. <laughs> different, different things, yeah. That's good. It's it's you know, it it's nice to play with them. They feel happy, and you do too. So it's good. Yeah. Uh huh. For a for an interesting day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, it helps out. Mm hmm. All right. Hey, Ronald, Anna, how are you? Hi. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. We're just talking with Marce about our day and how things went. Okay. Anna, Selvin, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Anna. I'm back. I see. <laughs> Sorry, I have connectivity issues. Uh, for that reason, I cannot uh, to attend the, the conferences, but I'm here. Oh, OK. No, no problem. No problem. It happens. Sometimes, you know, you try, and it's impossible. Mm hmm And Selvin, how about you? How are you doing? How are you? Good. It's a new look, teacher. <laughs> it's a new look. It's a new look. I... Uh-huh. Had That's to okay. <laughs> Yeah, try to be young. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, today we're gonna go ahead and continue. Um, we're taking a look at the idea from yesterday, continuation from yesterday, which is talking about gestures. Yesterday, we were looking at gestures and feelings. So if you remember, uh, gestures are the physical things that you do, right? Uh, the actions that you have, okay? And the feelings are the emotions. So the, for example, when you are angry, maybe you raise your hand or you start uh, moving it or doing something like this, okay? And, but this is the idea between the gestures and feelings. So right now, we're just going to take a moment and we're going to talk about our feelings, our emotions. So we're going to talk about when was the last time? Our question is going to be kind of like, when was the last time you were, okay? And then whatever emotion you want, okay? I put in a question here in the chat. All right, and I'm gonna put in a couple more to help you out. Okay, so there we just complemented with one of the emotions and the emotions are, um, we have them from our images in the WhatsApp or from uh, the platform from yesterday. And we can take a look, we had a lot of them and you can see that we are looking at uh, emotions such as, you know, happy, sad, angry, um, all of those different types of things that we had. And, okay. Oh, and it looks like, uh, okay. Yeah, that, those are the ones. So let's, let's try it out. So we have two different forms or you can make even more. Um, 
So I can say to maybe to let me see um, to Marcela. Okay, Marcela, when was the last time you were angry? Angry. Um, uh, this this morning. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Tell us what happened, Marcela. What happened? Oh, because uh, for the classes to my to my brother. And what happened? Uh, your brother couldn't register in classes. That uh, your brother didn't want to go to class, or or what? What happened? The, the children uh, didn't pay attention, and that was stressful, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So kind of like that, that's what we're going to start off with, with our partners, okay? So we're going to make uh, two groups, and with our two groups, uh, we're just going to start asking about questions. What happened? When was the last time you were happy or sad or angry? Or uh, what happened when you were sad? Or what did you do? And this is just the idea. So with our partners, we're going to make our groups and talk about the emotions and those questions that we talked uh, that we mentioned, OK? Um, you can ask other questions, but this is usually help you. Like, uh, when was the last time you were happy or sad or what happened the last time you were angry or uh, who were you angry at as a follow-up question right so you know like uh, marcella said uh, this morning she was angry so then i i follow up or i ask an additional question oh with who or why were you angry or things like that and that's what we consider for the follow-up is it okay what we're going to do in our groups It is okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect then. Let me make sure we form our groups and let's get started on it. Hey, Saul, how are you? Saul, Selvin, are you guys okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Saul, maybe. Uh huh. Here, uh, Selvin, you didn't enter the group. I send you an invitation again. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Saul, I sent you an invitation again. Maybe that helps you for entering the groups. In my house. <laughs> How do you say green? I don't know. What say. Green. Cricket. When was the last time you were <laughs> happy? Selby. When? I, I did hey. Hey. Cricket. <laughs> Any cricket. 
Something. Hi. When was the last the last time you were happy? Today. Today is a good. It was a good day. Hey. Forty-two. Yes, forty-two. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Make a question. Okay. What happened the last time when you were hungry? Angry. Hungry. Or hungry. Hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it was um, in the afternoon when uh, about two o'clock and I haven't taken my my lunch and I was starving because of that and I feel and I feel angry because I I need it to eat because the food never um, was ready. So for that, I feel hungry a lot. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. It's, it's a sad was horrible, <laughs> you know. When you feel like that, it is uh, awful, you know. And later, I had to to eat a lot of food to <laughs> to to calm my my um. Necessity. And you, Mr. Do you feel are you happy? Yes. Yes. Everybody is happy. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you married? Oh yes. Oh I, I have how many child do you have? I have one child. How many children? Only one. How many children? Mm -hmm. One children. No, Only one, one. One child. One child. Mm -hmm. But okay. for, yeah. for the for the children. Children. Yes, yeah. correct. Yes, yes, correct. Yes. Remember to ask Laura too. Remember Laura. Eh, eh, that way she participates. Where are Laura. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Laura. Laura is asleep. Hello. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you eat too much food. Very full. And when was the last time you were you were excited? Excited. Excited. I'm sorry. Excited. Excited. I think. Um, I don't know. Oh. Um, I 
the last week, I think, mm -hmm. because um, because my my family uh, come to my house, and that moment are uh, are very exciting because you, you don't. You didn't see your family every day, right? Right. So, yeah. So when when they when they come to visit is it's amazing. It's a it's a good time and you share it with they all all day and beautiful moment. Yes. Yes, it's a, a great moment. That. Yes, when when in in my house when we are together, uh, we we cook a uh, lunch and and baking a uh, like a cake and share that. Yeah. And it's been a lot. We, we, we talk a lot. Okay. Remember, it was a wonderful day. Remember, you also have Jose here in the group, so you can talk also with Jose. Hello, Jose. Welcome. Uh, thanks, thanks. Perfectionist and always thanks. looking forward to the things that can come. So, so we have to like have a plan, plan A, plan B. Uh, she anticipates all the problems that we could have in the road. <laughs> but um, I think that she, if she hasn't, if she, um, if she didn't have that uh, character, that character, uh, um, character, the character, things, character, character, the things wouldn't work the same way. Okay. So I have to always look at the best side. Although she stresses me up. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> We can say uh, that, that you don't like the problems, only the peace. No, <laughs> I can deal with problems, but I don't deal with um, people <laughs> too much. OK, nice. In here, there are grillos. I hear the crickets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you have grillos. <laughs> you need my gong. It sounds like you, but when I hear crickets, I imagine like in the country and, or in the farm. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> in the farm. Yes. We live in the farm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. A lot of animals. <laughs> Yeah, uh, around uh, around of here, it, it's um um uh, mo uh small mountain mountain uh, around here. A small mountain. Yes. That's good because here in my uh, where I live, never hear the animals. There are no animals. It's the same. Never, never, never. <laughs> never. I live in San. I live in Santa Tecla. I only hear buses and cars uh, and motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I live in a Huachapan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Near here, there are. House teacher. Back of my house teacher, I have a river, a little river. Mm -hmm. uh, 
quebrada? How do you say quebrada? Um, there's not really. It's a river. It's or a ditch. You can say quebradas are ditches. Ditches. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a air protection area. And uh, always I see animals uh, uh, old. Uh, sor uh, uh, foxes, fox, foxes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, and nice hawks, silver, house, 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 okay, house, uh, <laughs> um, venal, how do you say, you know, deer, deer, and deer too, uh, and yeah. other animal, cotusas. Yeah, cotusas, I don't know, I think. <laughs> Is it, yeah. Uh -huh. Early morning, I, 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 if I see the a little river, I always the three or five cotusas uh, find, finding a food. You have a lot of animals where you live. Yes. Very, very, very. I, in one one occasion, uh, the house uh, had three. Uh, what do you say? Taquasin. Uh, Taquasin. Uh, opossums. It's opossums. Well, don't worry. Uh, we have uh, three opossums. Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, was a big opossum. Uh, my cat uh, is was uh, a fur. Ah, it was scared. The, the, scared. The cat was scared. Yes, scared, scared. Yes, yes. <laughs> because this this animal, the, uh, a friend had told me that this animal eats a uh, little cat, a kitty. Ah. Imagine. Very <laughs> angry. Uh -huh. Where is that place, Selvin? It's uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, near to Cima Cuatro oh. uh, of Cima San Salvador. Mm -hmm. In this place, uh, we have two big areas of protection. Uh, uh, have a area of Fuerza Armada, um, is have a, a other area, is uh, a silo of action. And this area are big. Okay, so it's good. We are we have the idea of how to use and talk about our emotions and feelings. And remember, the important is that many times when we use ED, ED is for our emotions, right? Excited, amazed, uh, scared, uh, entertained. Okay, these are ED. This is for my emotions. When we talk with ing is for the thing the object the movie is okay the movie is exciting the movie is frightening the movie is entertaining is ing me the person i am excited 
I am uh, entertained. I am with ed. Okay, these are for many times so that we we remember the difference. The two are correct. Is the two words exist, but you have to make sure that you use them correctly. Ing is for the objects or the things. Ed is for the person or the emotions. Any questions for those? All right, good. I like, yes, so I'm far. Sure. Yes. So yes, far, I'm it's clear. clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Now we're going to continue and we're going to go on to the next uh, lesson in, in the platform, 4.8 which is talking about permissions, provision, and obligations, okay? So let's take a look at this first, and then we talk a little bit about what those words mean, okay? So here we have 4.8, uh, permission, prohibition, and obligation. Permission is when you allow someone to do something. This normally has to do with you know, with parents and children or with a, uh, a supervisor and a worker, they receive permission. That is, they are allowed to do something. They, ah, yes, you can go to the party or you may uh, go to the bathroom. Depends, that's the permission. Prohibition is that is not permitted. So for example, today now is not permitted to drink um, or, or not permitted to smoke in the movie theaters or in restaurants. They are prohibited, prohibited. This is the prohibition. That means it's not allowed. And then obligation are things that you have to do. That is not if you want to or not if you like, but it's part of, uh, of course, always you have, uh, you know, your options and you're free to choose. But obligation is that this is part of your responsibilities or things that are necessary for you to complete. Many times we have obligations in our house, like we have responsibilities, for example, cooking or cleaning or different things, but these are our obligations. Here, we're going to watch a small video regarding the three topics, okay? And then we'll talk about it. So let's watch the video and then I'll answer any questions. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They're not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. And you. Okay. So there, we can see that the three usages, right? We can see that we have all of them for, let's make sure, okay. We can see that we have the permission, obligation, and prohibition. There are two words that we use for each one. For permission, we use can or allowed to. For prohibition is the opposite. We use can't or aren't allowed to, okay? Remember, also the R changes. It depends if it's he, she, or it, then it would be she is allowed to or she isn't allowed to. So it's not only R. And then obligations is they have to or 
in another form, have got to, which is contraction, have got, or uh, you've got to, okay? And the same thing, the, if it's a he, she, or it, it's not going to be have, it's going to be has. She has to, or she's got to, okay? So permission, this is the, the you give to the person or you tell them that it's okay to do the action. Prohibition, you tell them that they cannot do the action. And obligation, you tell the person they have to do the action. Are there any questions about uh, what is a permission, what is obligation and prohibition? No question so far, teacher. No question. Okay. You have Good. So then in that case, we're going to practice a little bit. And with our partners, we want to make sure that we get it. Uh, we're going to discuss what can you do, what are you allowed to do, and what do you have to do. And that way, this will give us a chance, an opportunity to practice the three questions and the, the using the different forms. Um, if you are in WhatsApp, I'm going to take a picture right now, and I'm going to put it there just so that you have the questions, or you can use it directly into um, the platform. And if you are in the computer, it is 4.8, 4.8, okay? Um, you ready for our groups then? Remember, we're going to answer those three questions. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And uh, what do you have to do? Laura, Marcia, did you receive the invitation? Marcia, are you okay? Are you having some problems or difficulties? Um, for example, I can, um, I can go, I can walk, um, in the park. I can visit all the beach, the beaches. I can visit my friends and I can go to the church. What about you? Say. What can you do? Uh, teacher, what kind of thing, what kind of things uh, I need to ask for teacher? What can you do? You need to answer using the grammar that we learned today. Um, this is for I can or uh, for the what things can you do? Okay. Or what are you allowed to do? So what can you do is that you, maybe you can talk about the, um, you have the permission to do, okay? Uh, so I can do the dinner, my dinner, right? Mm -hmm. So for uh, example, so- uh, I can go. Mm -hmm. to the, to the exactly okay okay 
Yeah. I can go to the supermarket. Or just that. Yeah, just yeah, that. The idea is just to make sure that we want to, that we're using them correctly, the, the different forms. And then in, when you finish those, then you're going to ask your partners the negative ones. So right now you practice the positive, And when you finish, then it's the negative. What can't you do? What aren't you allowed to do? Uh, what don't you have to do? Things like that. Okay. Okay. And at five. Okay. And I have the obligation to be there at eight. But I yeah, have okay. to... Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have to, to cook, especially when we don't have a, any help at, at, the, at, house, at home. But, um, but when we have help, I am very released. Okay. Every day. Every day you do that things. Um, every day I I bath my little boy. Sometimes I bath the the little girl. Not always because she can bath herself, but uh, only when I have time. And uh, usually we have a. Uh, We have a person here helping at the house, but not always. So I have to like wake up earlier and uh, do the the lunch because I'm I don't come from I don't come at me at at the middle of the day. I don't come to okay. lunch here. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. It's a big obligation. <laughs> the family and the work at the same time. And the husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think, I don't think that I put your shoes because in my case only, only work and to do the exercise and to help uh, my tummy in some uh, homework, for example, but... You work but, in San Salvador, brother? Yeah, in San Salvador. So, okay, uh, now uh, you work in your house or... Um, or you need... Three, three days. To your office. Three days in San Salvador and two days in house at home okay. yeah we have a three a three days a three, three, three break days a three days i yes. yeah, i, yeah. I <coughs> travel to this to san salvador i i i i i am traveling every day um sign finds Five, five o'clock is my my departure. The, tra the traffic is very hard. In, yeah, in, in, Japan, no? in the Bio de Pico and Los Chorros is a a big truck traffic trafficking. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but. Is it the problem in, in to live very far out San Salvador right? for travel every day? If, if you don't, if you can, can, cannot do, go to the San Salvador uh, in a day work, what are you allowed to do? Uh, 
in my home on, or in my work? <laughs> in your work, in your work. If, if you have a day, you don't go to the work. If, if, if you, uh, they... You only, you only uh, make a, a, a call and say, uh, this day I think I, I work in my house. No, no, because um, we have the, the the specific days in in the, the in the office and the specific days in home at home. Uh, because I I I can't I can't change the days. Um, yeah, that that is the the, the 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 obligation that is the obligation for for my 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 organization in that i work you work uh, your, your work is a public work um no private? no it's an international uh, non government non profit non profit organization. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, an in, in international justice mission. In, we, we have, yeah. yeah, it's a non profit organization that we are working about the strengthening the the rule of law in El Salvador and helping to the uh, prosecutor and the investigation police um, fiscalia and, and, and some al alcaldias uh, oh, different Different supports at the different at the different groups in El Salvador. Okay. Yeah. Are you big, Mister? What? What? Are you big, Mister? <laughs> no. No, it's. I I. No. I. Be we... careful, Laura. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk too much. <laughs> yes, just only necessary to talk. <laughs> no, um, we only uh, we are supporting uh, supporting to the to the um, justice system in El Salvador for strengthening. Um, th that is not our mission in here. Um, the International Justice Mission uh, have a lot of uh, around the world. Uh, I think Okay, great. So any questions on how to do or when talking about uh, permission, obligations or prohibition? No, all night. Just I need a practice teacher. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's always what we need, right? The most is the, is the opportunity to practice. So, so tell us a little. Let's let's talk a little bit here in in the larger group. What are some of the things that you that you think should be in El Salvador prohibited? What shouldn't be allowed? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's start talking about and expressing your ideas, not only about yourself, but use the vocabulary to talk about in general, and also what you think should be allowed or what is not permitted but you think a hey, like for me for example for me i believe really i believe marijuana should be allowed okay 
I am okay with marijuana. I think not for me personally, but I think it's a big, big opportunity for the poor communities in El Salvador to grow uh, marijuana and export to the countries like Canada, the US that consume and pay a large amount of money for this. This is a lot of money. This is millions of dollars, but this is my opinion, my personal opinion. No English cooperativo, nobody else's. It's just my opinion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it should be prohibit uh, the abortion. Abortion. Mm -hmm. Um, because I have, I have listened to to a lot of uh, testimonies of people who have made an abortion and the guilt they they feel, even though. Um, the way they could have uh, conceived the baby. And also I have heard the version of a, of a baby that wasn't aborted. And, and the, 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 how do you say that? The gratefulness they have because they, they were a lot, they were um, able to live their lives, to grow and to live and to develop and to, uh -huh. so I think it should be prohibited. 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 The ED at the end, Laura, prohibited, prohibited. Prohibited. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, that's better, that's better. Okay, somebody else, go ahead, share. What is your opinion? Yes. Mm -hmm. It should be prohibited, right? Mm -hmm. For people to walk their dogs and not, not trace and not take their S's. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to do it. That feces. is a big problem for me. Feces. 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 Mm -hmm. Feces. Okay. Yeah. That is. It's very common, right? That you are walking and the person have a dog and the dog goes pee pee here, poo poo there, in the street, in front of the house of someone else. And the people don't care. They, ah, it's an animal. What do you, mm -hmm. the animal doesn't know. Yes, is correct. The animal doesn't know, but the person knows, and it's your responsibility. So, I agree yes. with I agree with you, and I agree. If you okay. have if you have an animal, mm -hmm. you need to be responsible. Like a child, if you have a child, and the child breaks something, who pays? The child, yeah. no. The the parent, because you are the responsible. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. That, let's hear some other opinions. What do you think should or shouldn't be allowed or permitted here in El Salvador? I think that listen music at one time in the night should be private. Marcy, can you tell me again what I didn't hear? Uh, what should be prohibited? Listen to music for one time. Yes, yeah, for one time in the night. Okay. It's that, annoyed. Do you mean you, you mean like a like at bar or discotheques? Those those, those loud musics. No, in these places is in the neighborhood. Yes, in the neighborhood is. Okay. Is mm. other situation. <laughs> okay. Ah, good idea. Good suggestion. Is mm, the people don't respect in the cellular, but it's a good suggestion, huh? Selvin? No, oh, teacher, I only think that in election, in the election, it is, it's not necessary to lay sick <laughs> because uh, the people, <laughs> yeah, because the people uh, buy, buy the beverage 
two or three days and the supermarket if you see uh, the price is low in this day <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i agree with that and really it's no different the people that drink or don't drink if you are alcoholic you're going to drink every day the yes yes because you buy like you say Selvin, you buy two three days before and you have yes um, yes all yes. right and if you are not alcoholic it's not it doesn't always have. i always uh, the police uh, uh, take the people uh, <clears throat> In the, what do you say, pueblo, teacher? In the towns? Yes, yes, only the towns in the, in the city is low. The capture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the city, it is not common for the people to be captured for not, for drinking. Yes. yes. Mm. But, you know, I think it has to do because in the city, to be honest, in the city, there are more private places. You can go to a, a house or a neighborhood or, or even a, a, a club that is closed and is not open to the public and you can drink. But in the towns, the only place to drink is in the park yes. or in the, in the areas. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay. And think of, uh, I think other other thing uh, in the neighborhood uh, are a street the that the the people close the, the street in the end and the the start mm -hmm. and the street is public. Ah yes, yes yes. If you go to the, the uh, mayor, and say, I don't, I agree, I don't agree about this, but uh, the mayor, the whole, don't say nothing. No. Mm -hmm. the 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 people take the public street like like private street yes yes mm -hmm. okay it's very common very very common in el salvador but and many people yes. say it's for security it's for security but you know the street yes. and and well the little the little house to the the, the to the people that uh, in the what do you say, Acera? Sidewalk. Okay, the sidewalk um, uh, will be a little uh, house to the um, security. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot walk, uh, free walk. Yeah, yeah. You it's... need a, a walk in the street and it's very dangerous. Yes. That's right. Very good, Selvin. Good example. Okay. What else? What other one would you guys think of? Ronald, I don't hear you express any opinions. <laughs> I think there are a lot of things that are um, don't allow in, in El Salvador. Uh, specifically in the different laws, but um, uh, I don't know what, what is what is what do you say the tra transit laws, mm -hmm. traffic traffic laws, mm -hmm. traffic laws. Uh, every day the the people. Uh, uh, Rompe, rompe. <laughs> break? Break, break, break mm -hmm. the, the, the louds in no. the different city, the louds and the different city. Uh, um, the uh, public transportation is 
is horrible in um, the, 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 the bus is traveling very fast in, in, in that streets and, and it's a, a, a big problem because um, here uh, they are uh, arrive, arriving f uh, a lot of people in the transportation and maybe their their cause an, an accidents and and a lot of things okay okay yeah good good well we are going to pause right there um remember to keep working in your platform and that you can already begin to register for the next course they send you information in the whatsapp and maybe in your emails also so uh, remember to Keep working in the platform, and I see you guys tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you. Good night. Good Bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.